Hello everybody, this is Inglorious P back in our video today and today we're going to discuss Vegas Dave and Investor Cards video that came up on YouTube a couple days ago. I pre-recorded a video, I decided not to release it, um, there's some audio issues with it, I didn't like the way it came out, so I'm redoing it. And, um, sorry, I'm trying to keep this open. Um, overall, it's an interesting video. Some people have talked about it and I figured I'd, I'd cover it give my thoughts on it because it's an interesting topic it's about manipulation in the sports card hobby um, and I think these guys are a little too hyper focused on sports cards and I'll get into all of that later on but before I do please like comment subscribe let me know what y'all think below and let's get into it again subscribe 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 help me get up to 500 to eventually a thousand subs that's the goal I think once I get there we'll be able to grow this channel exponentially so in this video, um, it's a Vegas Dave video. The guy is very, I don't know if the right word is bombastic. He's very outspoken. He's very, he's willing to call you out. He's a know-it-all. People really dislike him, especially when you compare him to Gary Vee, right? Investicard, I, I, I know I, I talk bad about him. And I actually really dislike what he's doing with his loan thing. We'll get into that in a minute. But as a person, I feel like he's a, at heart, I feel like he's a good guy um but i think he puts on this facade that's so easy to see through and regardless it's two generally unlikable people in the hobby um or at least consensus wise that people talk about but they made a video together <laughs> the dynamic duo made a video together and they're talking about manipulation of sports card hobby there is a youtube channel i love it's collectible investments if y'all have not seen this guy sean i don't know his last name You'll probably never see this video. I love his channel. I constantly am in his Q&As, asking questions. He's an amazing channel. And he always talks about manipulation in this market. And it's collectibles as a whole. And it's not just sports cards. It's any kind of collectible. Because here's what happens. I can post a few things on eBay. I shill bid them up. And now this $10 card is now a $50 card. I go to a card show. I show the eBay comps and say, look, man, everyone's buying this card for 50 bucks, And I can manipulate this market and one of the things they talk about in this video is how the jordan card is manipulated and they talk about how you know vegas dave saying this is a manipulated market it's crashing blah 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 and he gets vegas uh, he gets invested card to admit yeah the, this market is manipulated and he thinks that he's noticing some stuff in the hobby and and it's true like we've known this like vegas dave in this video acts like he's found some some brand new idea that we've never heard of bro we've known that this market is manipulated we know it <laughs> that's how this works so is it good no um so this part of the video you know i i honestly i played it while i was eating just a 20 minute video nothing crazy um so that's part of the what they talked about they also talk about the market crashing Vegas Dave's been on this kick of, I told you, I told you it's going to crash, I told you it's going to crash. And Investicard even admits in this video that we've seen lower liquidity, and I think it's like around this point in the video. Yeah, it's around the like eight, nine minute mark, I think is when they start talking about it. They start talking about how there's low liquidity, there's not a lot of cash being thrown around, which is kind of true. Um, he's not wrong. It's just the way he goes about it, I think people dislike. Um... And they talk about how Investicard's thing is kind of scammy, and it is. Um, the reason I don't like what he does. So Investicard, if you don't know, they the the idea of they take your cards to grade and they'll grade it for free, and then they charge you, and then they take a percentage of your sales. Like I think that's great, and that's an amazing service. That if it fits, it fits, and you should go for it. But one thing he's lately done is basically giving you like payday loans for your cards like he'll front the money so you can buy other stuff but the problem is if your cards go down in value you're gonna end up eating huge percentages and you'll owe so much money like it's you'll get yourself into very bad financial trouble so be very careful with him um he's a finance guy at the end of the day he's gonna find a way to screw you over um that's just how finance works and but they talk about the market crashing, and I wanted to evaluate this, especially I think this is a good continuation off of yesterday's video where I talk about pop counts and that kind of thing. 
And what are we seeing in the market? Well, as you all know, I sell a lot, a lot, a lot of low-end cards on eBay. $1, $2, $5, $10 cards. Okay, a lot of raw. Um, I'm still waiting on hundreds of slabs to come back from PSA and CSG. <laughs> so, I sell a lot of raw cards. And what have I noticed? Can I tell you all something? If it is base, I cannot sell a base card to save my life. I don't. Like, literally nobody wants them. If it's not colored, numbered, patch, or auto, nobody wants it. I refuse to ever buy or trade for a base card again because I cannot move them to save my... I don't know why. I have the cheapest prices on the market. People will make me ridiculous offers, and I'm not accepting those. Like, I, I want comps. Um, or, you know, I'll take 10, 20% off comps, but um, I'm reasonable. But I'm not giving you a, a $5 card for a dollar. Like, that's not how this works. And what they, they what they say is true. Like a little bit in here, they kind of allude to it. That the base market to me is crashing. I read you all some pop counts yesterday. Those are crashing. They will not recover. I'm sorry, but anything base, you are in trouble with. Um, I would sell it immediately if I had it. Your colored stuff is a different story. I think that has sustaining power, especially as there's still a lot of people in the hobby. I'm not going anywhere. Are you going anywhere? If you have thoughts in your head, that you're leaving this hobby, then, you know, maybe it's time to get out. But overall, I don't believe the mark the hobby is leaving. Look at the nationals. Lots of people are there. Hundreds of, like, literally over 100,000 people are going to be there. So, and that's in Chicago of all places. No offense, but Chicago sucks. Um, <laughs> like, I believe that the hobby is going to stay strong. So my advice from y'all, I highly advise, advise that you guys watch this video. I know they're unlikable people, but I believe that the knowledge that they can give, just just evaluate it from your own perspective, kind of do what I do and just read between the lines of what they're saying. And also, um, you know, just just I challenge you to look up pop counts on cards that you like. Pick a player that you like. If it is John Morant, I want you to look up all John Morant pop counts on every card. His Donruss base, his Donruss color, his prism, his prism base, his prism color, his optics select, uh, you know, origins, uh, luminance, chronicles, even national treasures. Look up everything and evaluate what's the right play for me. And I advise you to make a list. Make a list of I have my favorite guys. If you've been around for a while, you know who they are. I have a list. Now, I'll go through that list, and I evaluate, wait a second. I can spend 50 bucks on this guy's base card in a PSA 10 that there's thousands of and thousands more to come. Or I can spend that 50 bucks and get a really nice auto or a really nice, you know, patch card. I, I highly advise that you guys re-look at your inventory and start making the moves to set yourself up in the right position so that when things change here and over the next couple of years as the market as people you know leave and things return to a somewhat new floor you'll be okay so i hope you all enjoyed this video i hope it was informative i hope i didn't talk too fast i'm trying to change up my communication style so we'll see if it works um, hopefully my breathing was okay i've been commented before about that i'm, I'm trying to stand up and walk around while I talk. I figured get the brain juices flowing, but I know that might be annoying to listen to. So I appreciate you watching if you made it this far and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.